subscribe make engineering knowledge junction and press the bell icon to learn all the CAD CAM automation tutorials and many more design analysis tutorials in easiest way welcome friends you are watching mechanical engineering knowledge junction today we are going to learn how to draw this given profile in master cam 2018 and generate a different tool path for this given profile to get the this profile out of the given stock setup okay and finally we get the g codes and m codes that can be feed into cnc machine to generate this tool or generate this profile okay first of all open master cam 2018 and check whether there is metric or not if there is no metric system then click on file then go to configuration and then go here in this box and select metric and then click ok to get the metric system since our all that i mentioned in mm now we have to click on wireframe because there is all the drawing tools are available for drawing we have to always go in this wireframe interface now carefully observe the given profile i am going to draw only half portion of this profile in second quadrant of the cartesian system and first of all i am going to draw the coordinate of this circle which will be 0 comma 19 and the coordinate of this point will be 0 comma 48 and the coordinate of this point which will be minus 120 comma 120 and the coordinate of this circle center which will be minus 96 comma 72 and the coordinate of these two circle which will be minus 84 comma 48 and minus 84 comma 24 and i will use mirror option to get all the profile so first of all go to master cam and then click on point position and type the different coordinate that i have told you earlier that is 0 comma 19 then press enter and 0 comma 48 press enter minus 120 comma 120 press enter minus 84 comma 24 press enter minus 84 comma 48 press enter and minus 96 comma 72 then press enter thus we have created all the required points for our profile drawing okay now i am going to create these holes of radius 29 mm of radius these two are of radius 10 mm and this is of radius 24 mm for that i will have to click on circle center point and select this point as center and draw a circle of radius 29 mm and give there the uh, diameter as 29 and select diameter 29 now click enter now Select this point as center and draw a circle of ready diameter 10 mm. Okay, again select this point as center and draw a circle of diameter 10 mm. Again select this point as center and draw a circle of radius 24 mm. Now 24 mm, then press enter and now click OK. Now I have to go from this point to this point. So the length will be 40. 8 by 2 that is 24 and I will draw this length also and after that I will join these two point okay the length of this will be 7 mm since 240 minus 216 will be 14 which will be 7 mm here and 7 mm here okay so uh, click on line in points and I start from this point and go in left right direction and give the length as 24 then press enter now click on this point and go in right right direction and release here and give the length as 7 and then press enter now zoom it and click at this point and uh, release at this end point and now click ok now i am going to draw this line of uh, length 48 plus 24 that will be 72 so click on this line in point and start from here and release here and give the length as 72 and then click ok now i am going to draw this inclined line and i will have to give the this angle okay i will have to give this angle in clockwise direction so this angle will be 360 minus this angle of 60 which will be 300 
so click on this line in point and click here and uh, randomly draw a line and release here and go here and give the angle as 300 and then click ok now I'm going to draw this line ok now again click on line in point and start from this and release here and then click ok now there is no need for this extra line so click on trim break extend and then select divide delete and then click here and here to delete that extra portion now click ok thus we have generated our required profile of half section now i am going to use mirror option to um, mirror this profile in about y axis so click for that we have to go to transform now click on mirror carefully select all the lines this line this line and then this line and this line again this line this line and this circle this circle and this circle now click on in selection and go here and click on y and now click ok thus we have created the required profile by using the mirror options since there is a different color so i will have to click on this right click on mouse button and then go here and click on clear colors to get the all the profile in same color okay now zoom out this and click the right mouse button and go to uh, isometric view and adjust the figure according to screen now i will have to screw this profile so for that you will have to click on solid then click on screwed and now click on this chain and then select the all the chain and a uh, circle carefully now click ok <coughs> now click here to reverse the direction in downward direction so you can clearly see that these two circles are not selected so again cut this and uh, again click on screwed select this select uh, this circle this circle this circle this circle this circle this circle and this circle and now click ok so you can clearly see that all the profile is selected now click here to divide the direction give the length as 20 and now press enter and now click ok thus we have created the required profile now this is the mirroring problem so we will have to select machine now click on machine then click on meal and then click on default so we have selected the machine for this profile now we have to set up the stock so they click on this plus sign now click on a stock setup and then click on all solids by clicking on all solids it will create a stock of exactly same size shape and size i'm going to increase in y axis by 5 mm in x axis by 5 mm and in z axis by mmm which will be removed by facing operation in downward direction okay and we have increased the length to visualize the actual operation now click ok so the red cube wide is actual setup actual stock for this profile by drawing different or uh, by generating different tool path we are going to get this profile out of the given stock so first of all i am going to remove one mm extra material in z direction and this will be removed by facing operation so click on facing now click on this and then click on this profile and now click ok now we will have to go to tool click on select ability tool click on filter and select this face mill always for facing operation now click ok select any one of the given tool okay and now click ok do not change anything holder cut go to cut parameters and go here and select zigzag so that the minimum time is taken now go here in this box and always give zero okay now go to depth of cut and always tick here and give the rough step of four and finish cut of one of 0 0.25 mm okay now go to linking parameter do not change anything in above three boxes only give here as minus one since we have to remove one mm material in downward direction so we have given the minus one now click on home reference do not change anything 
okay now click okay so this is the tool part for the fishing operation now we have to drill these two holes of radius 24 mm for that we will have to go to drill and now carefully select the center of these two holes and now click ok go to tool click on select library tool click on filter then select drill and go here and select equal and give the diameter of that hole that is 24 now click ok select any one tool and then click ok and now do not change anything in holder you can clearly see that the holder is perfect now go to stock and click add this and e and now go to cut parameters click ok do not change anything in this go to cut linking parameters and go in this box and give the depth as minus 20 since the uh, screw is of um, 20 mm and we have to remove in downward action so minus 20 and click on tip compression and go here and tick at this and give the breakthrough amount as 5 mm breakthrough is the distance available tool after drilling the hole okay and for which uh, this is done for uh, so that there is no extra material remove, uh, left at the base of the hole okay now click ok thus we have created the uh, tool part those tool part for these two holes now i am going to create the tool part of these four small holes so again click on drill carefully select the center of these four holes by zooming in okay and now click ok now go to tool click on select library tool click on filter again click here and select the drill and now go to this box and select equal and give the diameter of that hole that is 10 mm now click ok select a tool and now click ok do not change anything in holder leave the stock as it is do not change anything here also and linking parameters do not change here, here also and do not change here also now click ok that's the tool part is created for the these four holes now i'm going to create tool path for these holes so again click on drill select the center of this drill and now click ok now go to tool click on select ability tool and now click on filter and again select this drill and go here and give the diameter of that hole that is 29 now click ok select this hole the uh, tool and now click ok do not change anything holder keep is keep it is as it is also there is no change there is also no change and there is also no change and now click ok thus we have created a tool path for this hole now we are going to create a tool path for this removal of outer material which will be removed by contour operation so click on contour now click on this and then click on profile now click ok now go to tool and click on select library tool and click on filter and select always this in the middle to spare for our contour operation now click ok and select any one tool and now click ok and now go here and click on for so there is no need to change anything also go to cut parameters do not change any, anything also go to depth of cut click here and give the max repair stop of 4 finish of 1 of uh, 0.25 mm and now click on lead in and lead out do not change anything click on breakthrough go here and tick this and give the distance as 5 mm do not change anything multi pass and tap go to linking parameters and give the hair edge distance minus 20 since we have to travel in downward direction so minus 20 mm now home reference so is it, it is okay so click ok thus we have created a tool path for drilling uh, contour operation since the tool path is inside you will have to again click on this parameters and then go to cut parameters and go here and change the direction from 
left to right and now click ok and now click at this to generate the tool path ok so this thus our uh, tool path is generated for all the given operations now I have to combine all the tool path in a sequence so for that we will have to click on the tool path group when now click on generate all selected operations so this will create the tool path for all selected operation again and now you will have to click on verify selected operations to see the animation of how the tool path is going to perform in actual way so you will get to another interface in which we are going to see the animation so it will took some time thus we had open the new interface in which we are going to see the so select according to your screen size okay and now go to verify and click on color loop to provide a different color to different operations now click on play button so the facing operation is going on okay after that this drilling operation is going on and the last operation which is contour operation is going on okay you can clearly see that okay you can also slow or fast uh, speed by doing this okay so this is the contour operation is going on you will have to wait for some time to complete the operation it will depend on your computer graphic speed ram and also so you can clearly see that there is a material left at the uh, base so i am going to increase the depth by some amount so close this window and go to counters and then click on parameters and then go to linking parameters and give the depth as minus 25 okay and now click ok now again click on this to uh, combine all the uh, tool path in sequence and now go here and click on verify selected operations and now again click on ok so you are going to again view the animation okay minimize this and then click ok so the facing operation now the drilling operation now this is contour operation is going on okay so you can just rectify your mistakes by observing the animation of this video so that there is no mistake after the feeding that g code and m code in cnc machine so you can clearly see that there is no extra material at the base of this now i have to get the g code and m code for this uh, profile so minimize this window and go here at post selected operation and click at this g1 and now click ok now click yes and give the file name that is i am going to give as punkaj and now click save so it will take some time to create the master cam code exports it will be also click here s so after some time it will create the g code okay again click ok so for g code yes you are going to get the g code here initial aging interface to get the g code so this is our g code ok that will be feed into cnc machine so that you can clearly create the uh, profile out of the given stock so thank you for watching have a nice day please like share and subscribe my channel for more video thank you bye bye have a nice day